654 time for the morning sprint. We begin with Sun Prairie East High School making a change to leadership. Renee Coleman is no longer the school's principal. She held the position since 2021. Neither Coleman nor the school have given us a reason for her departure. The search for a new principal will begin early next year. In Rio, the community school district is investigating a staff member. It comes after allegations of an improper interactions or improper interactions with multiple students. The district has not provided any further details, though. District officials say the accused staff member will indefinitely be out. Local law enforcement is investigating. Republican Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance will stop in Wisconsin next week. The Ohio Senator will speak at Racine Memorial Hall Monday afternoon around 5.30. He is expected to talk about Trump's economic plans. The Senator is also expected to encourage Wisconsinites to vote early for the Trump Vance ticket. A man is in custody after nearly hitting the motorcade of Vice President Kamala Harris. Milwaukee police say the man drove the wrong way on I-94 while under the influence. It happened Monday night around 8.30. The man claims he had no intention of harming the vice president or anyone in her campaign. He faces charges of OWI and reckless endangerment. A strike of more than 30,000 workers at Boeing continues. It comes after the union voted down a proposed contract deal. That means Boeing's airplane manufacturing will likely remain at a standstill. Meanwhile, the company has endured a net loss of more than $6 billion. That's from their third quarter earnings report. Well, if you want to maintain good brain function, a new study from the American Academy of Neurology shows the answer is simple. They identified eight things you should do to reduce your risk, reduce your risk of stroke, dementia, and depression. They're staying active, eating better, maintaining a healthy weight, not smoking, getting plenty of sleep, and controlling your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar. Temperatures are going to be back closer to normal today, warmer than what we had yesterday, 63. We're down to 47 tonight. Not that bad. We're waking up to freezing level right now, and we do have some patchy frost. It's widespread areas west and northwest of Madison, especially and in lower lying areas where temperatures are actually down to the 20s there. We're down to freezing level here. A couple areas across Dane County, mainly west of Madison, are under that. So it's a cool start. Warmer today than yesterday, though, but not nearly 80 like what we just had Monday. No, not quite. Thank you, Savannah. You're welcome. We'll be back in a half an hour with the news and weather update.